Hi, today I want to show you how to create a long singing video on my RTX 4070 with 8GB of VRAM. First of all, I just want to give you a compare between one 2.2 S2V and Infinite Talk. Uh, I've already created a video how to do that in WAN 2.2 and this is the time how long it took to generate. But I just want to give you a compare of the quality. As you can see, the head is moving much more on WAN 2.2 and this one is quite steady. And the background is not moving at all. This is really bad. And the other thing is, you can see, but on Infinity Talk, the hand is moving a little bit more. This one looks like it's just stuck on the keyboard. But one thing I want to show you, as you can see from the last frame here, this one is just lost the consistency. It doesn't look like me anymore. It doesn't even look like an Asian. And the good thing with the WAN 2.2 is it's quite consistent. And if you look at the last frame here, you can see the text here. It has a little bit messed up, but this one is still okay. It's correct. I think the reason is because uh, we are fitting the reference image in the extension of every five seconds. Remember when we do that on WAN 2.2 S2V, uh, you can see from uh, older video, there are blocks and we have to put a batch size for longer video. I think that's the reason you can keep the character quite consistent from th the start to the end. And this one has only a start image and until the end it is losing the reference. In general, you can see there's not much we can control in the video. I can put whatever changing lighting and this one doesn't do anything at all. And uh, moving hands or something like that, it doesn't do anything at all. So that's the problem. If we do a five seconds video, that's not too bad. Uh, someone just sing on the microphone. But if we do it for longer, then it look very boring. Infinite Talk allowed me to do lip sync on a video. So what I can do is I just create a video using first last frame. As you have seen on my older video, I created another image as a last frame using Nano Banana. So this is my last frame. So I try to do a little bit movement, putting my arm and pointing to the audience here. And I, what I have done is I created a video with WAN 2.2 first last frame and unfortunately it didn't go well. You can see it is ghosting everywhere. And this one took one hour and ten minutes to generate so it's not acceptable. At the end, I simply try to do a shorter video. Let's go to Comfy UI. And this one is the workflow I use for the WAN 2.2 first last frame. You have seen this already in my previous video. Uh, what I have done is basically I use the two images. I just crop it a little bit to ensure the face is large enough. Otherwise, the lip sync won't be good. So this is crop very close to the person here. And this is another one. I'm not going into the details of the workflow because you can see this in my previous video. Now let me just run it. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look how long did it take. 
So it's a little bit more than 10 minutes. That's not too bad. That's acceptable. Yeah, we have uh, just 8 gig of VRAM. We can't expect too much. Let's have a look at the result. Very nice. The background is moving a lot. Very, very nice lighting here. And the hand is hitting the keyboard as well. So that's the first part. These are uh, 9 seconds. What I have done now, I want to do another 7 seconds using this as a start image. Okay, now what you can do is you can create another last image for the second part of the video. Now I am just lazy. I just put the last frame of the previous video as a start frame and put this one here, the start frame as last frame. So it won't be very noticeable because all the lighting in the background will be changing. And the duration is, this one is 9 seconds for 16 frames per second. Now I need to do 16 times 7. Okay. So let's run it again for the second part. Okay, now it's done. How long did it take? Oh, that's good. Because this one is shorter than the, the other one. So let's have a look in the result here. It starts with uh, lifting the arm up and then playing keyboard. So that's not too bad if the hands are moving and the lights are moving as well. The next thing is I want to show you to combine these two videos in Infinite Talk. Okay, now let's do the lip sync with Infinite Talk. I've got a workflow. I will put this for download and link it in the description. This is my workflow here. And I'm not going to go to the details where to download the models. I put it everything in this notebook box. You can check that out. And if you have any question, just put it in the comment. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. And here, this is my test audio. I got a start time and the duration. I put it 17, uh, but uh, the video will be 16 only. This one is 16 times 16 frames per second. So that's my length of the video. And this is the resolution of my video. I just uh, put it as high as I can get without hitting the hour of memory. And this one, now I need to combine the two videos. So this, the first one would be our first output. Yeah, and the second one will start from the last frame from the last one, yeah. I've got a prompt as well, but this is not that important. I just put a little bit singing and that. So let's run it and see how it goes. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. How long did it take? Okay, that's uh, more than 10 minutes. It's not too bad. And altogether, maybe 30 minutes for two videos and one lip sync here. So let's check the result. So as we can see, the facial expression is not that good as the one 2.2 S2V, but at least we got those issues fixed. So the web background is no longer static and also got some movement in the hand. And that we can get something moving in the video. And the face is not changing to someone else because it, that was video from video. Okay, now I think I'm quite happy with the result. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.
videos to watch Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video